Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Are you using a rangefinder? I know you're using it correctly. We'll show you how to use it perfectly. Welcome back to We Play Golf, the golf channel where you easily learn how to play golf. We publish new golf tips and tricks every week, so if you don't want to miss any of our videos, please consider subscribing. Today's video, we're going to talk about how you have to use your pin lock, your Bushnell, your rangefinder. Recently, I was on a golf course with a good player, and he was about 240 meters away from the, from the hole, and he was looking through his pin lock and looking at the hole, I said, okay, Tom, we have to go for 240. I said, yes, it's very good to use it, to know that the flag is 240, but you'll never get there. So you better use it to see how far is a bunker you want to play at, or you aim at a, a certain point to have a layup. You don't always have to look for the flag. Now, eventually, when we actually hit the first shot, we arrived in front of the green, and I asked the person, how far away do you think you are? And he made a guess about 22 meter. At that moment, I said, well, you're not using your pin lock, your bushnell, your rangefinder correctly, because you were 240 meters away from the hole, and you were interested in knowing where the flag is. But once you get close to the hole, you're not using this thing, and this is going to help you to measure and know the correct distance while you chip. So when you arrive around the green, take out that rangefinder and just look at the flag. Pinpoint accuracy and chipping and pitching, you can use this. So for instance, I'm going to be looking at this first flag in front of me. It gives me 10 meter. Now I have the correct distance to the first flag. So when I chip, I now know that this amount of speed with my pitching wedge will be enough. But making that routine every time when you arrive around the green, take that pin lock, take your rangefinder, check what the distance is, measure, and you know. So if you know it, you have 100% trust in your shore game. So if I show you now, I'm going to hit one shot. Let's have a look at the second flag there at the back. That's 20 meter. So I know now I'm going to make a one shot opportunity just to see if I can get it straight to the flag. Even after I've hit the shot, I can still have a little look how far I went. And I see it's 21. So I've gone one meter too far. Another situation where you could be very wrong in guessing the right distance is when you're above the green. So in this position, I want to be aiming at the last flag and it looks very close to me, but actually when I use my pin lock, my rangefinder, it tells me it's 37 meters. Of course, it's going a little bit down, so I should have maybe a little less, maybe 35 meters. Now I know the distance using my pitching wedge, I can now be sure that I have the right distance to play. Use that pin lock, use that range finder in your shore game. Here we go. Now that ball is going to be pretty close to the hole, nearly in the hole, but I knew the distance, so I knew the speed I need to play golf. This is how we play golf. This is how you're going to be using your pin lock, your rangefinder correctly. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share with your golf buddies. See you next time. Imagine you guess a distance to the pin and you think it's only 15 meters. So you make a chip and you make 15 meters. You actually did a great chip, but eventually it was a 25 meter chip. So you end up with a three-putt country where you probably will be very, very sad.